sponsors tonight, BMA and MOE Supply Chain Management Report Summary. Definition of Terms MOE and BMA Brief Background School Supply Chain Management Report Food Supply Chain Management Report Human Resource Supply Chain Management Report Conclusion, then recommendation. And of course, after the report, we have our coffee and sharing. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, and those who fall in between, let's get ready for this five-hour MOE and BMA Supply Chain Management Report brought to us by 3P3 Lunaria, Groups 1 and 2. Logistics makes the world work better. When there's plane in the sky for a chain of supply, that's logistics. That's logistics. When the parts for the line come precisely in time, that's logistics. Exactly. A continuous link that is always in sync, that's logistics. Yeah. Manufacturing to customer gets a bus, it's logistics. logistics. With new ways to compete, your order is complete, yes. that's logistics. Yeah, it's logistics. Where technology knows right where everything goes, that's logistics. Bells will ring, 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 that's logistics. There will be no more stress, cause there one call away, that's logistics. Hello everyone, good evening Dr. Perona. My report is all about the Ministry of Education. So just a brief background of what MOE is. So there are over 37,000 educational institutions and nearly 20 million students in the Thai education system. So the system consists of 12 years of free basic education, six years in primary, and then six years in secondary education. And enrollment in the basic education system begins at the age of six. So the mission of the MOE is to provide quality education for every child, youth, uh, disabled and disadvantaged equitably everywhere uh, in cities, rural areas and outreach provinces by the public and private authorities from early childhood until year six of the secondary education and equivalent. So in 1999, the National Education Act initiated an overall reformation of the Thai education system. Considerable changes in the structure of management and administration have taken place. So the emphasis is on the decentralization of administrative responsibilities to local level with the consolidation of education planning at the central level. So let's take a look at the administrative structure of education in Thailand. Educational service areas or ESAs were established in order to decentralize the educational administration. So there are currently 185 educational service areas in Thailand, 182 in the provinces and three in Bangkok. Each ESA comprises of an area committee which is responsible for approximately 200 educational institutions and a population of 300,000 to 500,000 students. So let's take a look at the organization of administration in educational service areas. So there you go and for further information you may visit the Ministry of Education website at www.moe.go.th or the Office of the Basic Education Commission at www.obec.go.th.
TH. So again, this is Gaius Galiasa. I'm out. Good evening. Let me give you some insights of the BMA. The Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, or the BMA, is the local government of Bangkok, which includes the capital city of Thailand. The government is composed of two branches, the executive or the governor of Bangkok and the legislative or the government. The administration's roles are to formulate and implement policies to manage Bangkok. Its purview includes transport services, urban planning, waste management, housing, roads and highways, security services, environment, culture, and education. Let's focus on the BMA education. Here's the government structure in the Office of Education. Let's take a look. Here are the education strategies of the BMA. First, raising the quality of education to excellence. Second, developing students according to the identity of the metropolis. Third, elevating the efficiency of education management to meet the needs of all group of learners, equality and inclusiveness. Fourth, developing the efficiency of digital management for education. Fifth, developing human capital and managing to become a high performance organization. As a special local administration entity, the BMA designs and runs its own independent education system for all Thai children residing in Bangkok for free. Foreign children can also benefit if their families' earnings are considered low and if they are legally residing and working in the kingdom. At the present, there are 437 existing primary schools under the BMA. BMA supports its many projects by using its own collective taxes from local citizens, foreign workers, and businesses. The learning opportunities for free access to education especially for poor children in Bangkok, help to promote their development as well as will give them greater opportunity to further their studies until they have completed their compulsory education. Former Senator Rosanna Tosit Takun suggested that the city administration's education system must be reformed with the cooperation from the private sector to provide more access for children to learn about subjects which interest them both inside and outside the classroom. Moreover, Thai Rock Thai Party gubernatorial candidate MP Sita Tiwari proposed that all BMA-run schools must be of the same high quality so parents can be assured that their children can attend schools which are close to their homes. In May 2004, the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration launched its pilot project to open a bilingual Thai English program to teach mathematics, English, science, art, and health with the use of English language as the medium of teaching in two small size historical schools, Wat Menjamabobit School and Wat Mahanaparam School. At that time, the hiring of foreign teachers to implement the project began Three Filipino teachers were assigned at Wat Benjamabobit School and two others were assigned at Wat Mahanaparam School, including myself. At the present, there are 67 existing bilingual schools in different districts around Bangkok and more schools are interested and will join the said project in the future. Thank you very much. I am Teacher Maria Victoria Gabriel. Relax and learn more about our report with the next gorgeous reporters. Good evening and God bless.
Logistics makes the world work better. When there's plane in the sky for a chain of supply, that's logistics. That's logistics. When the parts for the line come precisely in time, that's logistics. Exactly. A continuous link that is always in sync, that's logistics. Yeah. Manufacturing to to customer gets. The bus is logistics. With new ways to compete, your order is complete. Yes. That's logistics. Yeah, it's logistics. Where technology knows right where everything goes. That's logistics. Yes. That's logistics.